simulating an RLC circuit on the Raspberry Pi 4B single board computer with Tina Cloud. Raspberry Pi 4B is a powerful, compact mini computer. It's affordable, runs various operating systems, and is perfect for learning or projects. It includes a quad-core 1.5 GHz 64-bit ARM CPU, 8 GB RAM, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB, HDMI, a microSD slot and more. From the Raspberry Pi website, and with the help of an SD card imager you can install the Raspberry Pi OS on the microSD card, which is a Debian-based Linux OS including a web browser, called Chromium. You can run TinaCloud in Chromium from the www.tinacloud.com website. First, let's open Chromium. In the search bar, type in tinacloud.com and then press enter. The website appears. In the website, click the blue login button to go to the login window. In the login window, type in your login credentials, then press login or the enter key. Now, Create the circuit using the schematic editor of Tina Cloud. First, select and place the resistor from the basic toolbar. Next, select and place the inductor and the capacitor. Before placing the capacitor, rotate it by using the rotate icon on the toolbar. Finally, select and place the voltage generator on the workspace. Next, Connect the components with wire. Note that you can cross the components with wire. The program automatically cuts the wire sections that cross the components. We still need to add the ground and a voltage pin from the meters toolbar. The waveform at the voltage pin will be shown on the diagram under the name VF1. Let's check the voltage in the voltage generator. Double click on the voltage generator the default setting is a unit step, and its voltage is 1 volt. It will jump from 0 to 1 at the beginning of the simulation. T equals 0. Okay, let's accept these settings and close the dialogs. Now we still need to change the default values of some of the components. Let's change R1 to 200 ohms. and C1 from 1 microfarad to 1 nanofarad. Note that you should just enter 1N for 1 nanofarad. Now the circuit is ready for analysis. Okay, let's save our circuit under the name rlccircuit.tsc. Note that it is not necessary to enter the TSC extension. Note that the program automatically saves the changes into this file while we are editing. Let's first make a transient analysis. Select Transient from the Analysis menu. Set the end display time to 50 microseconds. Note that you should enter 50U for 50 microseconds. Next, change the start condition to zero initial values. Then press the Run button. The transient time response appears in the diagram window of Tina Cloud. Okay, now let's add the diagram to the schematic editor window to store it together with the circuit schematic. Close the diagram window and note that it remains available in the program. Next, select the Insert button denoted by a green plus sign, then click Insert Diagram. The Insert Diagram window will appear where you can change the size of the diagram to be added to the schematic editor. The transient analysis is made by numerical calculations. Now let's generate the accurate closed formula describing the transient response using the symbolic analysis capability of Tina Cloud. Note that the closed formula exists in linear circuits only. From the analysis menu, select symbolic analysis and then semi-symbolic transient. The symbolic result appears. The symbolic result describes the transient response of the circuit with an accurate analytic closed formula. 
We can also draw a diagram using the formula and compare it with the numerical result. They are very close to each other. The difference is due to the numerical solution used at the transient analysis. Note that to increase the accuracy of the numerical calculations, we set a small time step, TR maximum time step equals 100 nanoseconds in the analysis parameters window. Okay, now let's add this formula to the schematics editor window. Click again the insert button on the toolbar, and this time select insert symbolic result. The formula will appear, and you can add to the schematic diagram window. Note that you can also customize the formula. For example, you can change the size of the font or add a border to it, etc. Double click on the formula, and in the text editor window, press the properties button. Select a larger font and enable the border. Okay, let's continue with the AC analysis. Go to the Analysis menu, select AC Analysis, then AC Transfer Characteristic. In the AC Transfer Analysis dialog, set the number of points to 500 to have a finer diagram and press the Run button. The AC Amplitude Characteristic appears, but at the same time the program has calculated the phase Nyquist, group delay, and AC Bode diagrams. Next, add the AC Bode diagram to the schematic editor window. Close the diagram, pan the schematic editor screen, go to the insert menu and select the insert diagram. Set the diagram parameters as shown on the screen, and then press the Insert button. Finally, let's generate the closed formula of the AC transfer function using Symbolic Analysis. From the Analysis menu, select Symbolic Analysis, then Symbolic AC Transfer. The formula of the transfer function appears. We can also add it to the schematic editor window. Press the green Insert button on the toolbar, and then select Insert Symbolic Result on the menu. You can also edit the formula as shown previously in this video. Finally, add a title and rearrange the screen to get your preferred layout. The final layout will be automatically saved in the rlccircuit.tsc file. To add a title, first pan the screen downward by holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse, and then press the large T button on the toolbar. The text dialog will appear. Press the Properties button, select 24 or a similar font size, tick the bold checkbox, and press OK. In the text dialog box, enter RLC circuit and press OK. The RLC circuit text will appear attached to your cursor. Move it to the middle at the top of the screen and place it by clicking the left mouse button. Finally, drag the diagrams and the formulas to the required position by holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse. Note that on tablets you can simply drag the diagrams, formulas, and text with your finger. This concludes our demonstration on creating and simulating an RLC circuit. For more information, visit our website at tinacloud.com. Visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com user slash tinadesignsuite.